Hi there, and welcome back to another video tutorial. So this time will be about Windows 16 Linux, and it's to address a specific question. Now, because when you install Windows 16, you're going to have your virtual machine, this one, and you have it with a drive space that is by default, you have it here in the notes, it's allocated by one to one tera. But this machine is dynamically growing and sometimes can be the case that you copy many many files and you will keep, you no, know, the it will keep growing, growing, but it doesn't compress automatically. So let me show you how to do that. It's relative easy. Okay, in my case, I don't do it because I have enough space for Terra, so for me it's not a problem. But time to time, when I like to compress or to share my my virtual machines, I follow these steps. So the first things to do is that you need to launch. Let me go the terminal win terminal preview launch as a administrator. So this is PowerShell or terminal preview. It's pretty much the same. So I'm using this one launch as a administrator and here i have the the stat for my convenience but what is important there are three options actually the first one the important one is that you need to install hyper v uh, manager or you need to enable this option so as you look for that so you go to the hyper v there and then you have throw windows features on and off you go here and you do it to enable this one. By default, it's not enabled, but very important comment here that this only comes with the professional, Windows 11 professional. If you have the Home Edition, you don't have it. You can install that. You can look for the instructions in, in the internet. Okay, you need to download a patch and so on, but it's you have it out of the box, just the professional. So if you need it for your Home Edition, just look out of the box, but don't worry, there is another option actually two options so the one i like is using windows no hyper v so the first step will be you need to shut down uh all your virtual machines since they are running okay first remember run this as an administrator very important and the other step is very easy just copy and paste this command that will be in the video description and for convenience and always i always like to go to the directory where i have the virtual machine so i will go here and there you go so you just go here copy paste it and it will run and you get this and it will compact your virtual disk in this case i'm not going to get anything or probably not much because they're already you know compressed because this virtual machine I already sharing so before sharing I just export it and do all the compressing and so on. So it is as easy as copy and paste in these commands and it works very well. So let's wait a little bit to get the whole virtual disk compressed. And there you go. We have the final result. And at this point, we're happy and let's see if we gain anything. Well, as I mentioned, I just compressed it. So I didn't get anything. So this is the method I like. Attention works. You need to have this one. So you need to enable the Hyper-V. The other method is using this part. Okay. So again, you can go into your terminal window and just enter there. So this will launch the this partition utility and then you are in another prompt so be careful that you here have your prompt this part and there you just need to select your drive so here i already have the copy and paste line so let me go and actually let me copy here put it there and this one will be Okay, so bam, 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 put it here. Okay, so basically, first step, you need to select you now the virtual disk that you want to to manipulate. So in this case, I give the path to that one. Okay, and basically, it will tell you. Okay, you successfully selected that virtual file, and then just type this one, copy. And it will do pretty much the same as the previous one. It will start to do, to, to compress that. And then you're going to reclaim some space. So let's wait while this process is done.
Okay, so the process is done. We have a compressed uh, virtual machine. One thing, but by the way, be careful about this this partition utility because now you are you, you can partition your hard drive, so you can do you can damage your installation. So pretty much just focus on this command. But there are many commands, so I will guess uh, you have the help window and you will have everything there. Okay, so yeah, be careful about what you are doing. So see that also you have two different co uh, commands here. You have compact, the one I'm using, and then you have also string. Okay, so it's, they are similar. I prefer to stay with this one. And when you are done, let's see, exit. And that's all. We have our compressed virtual machine. We didn't get anything. As mentioned, I already put a few paths there. And that's it. That is the, the second method. And there is another search, search method. So the search method will be, is you are here when you export your virtual machine. Okay, so you get, for instance, this command, you will export this specific virtual machine. And then when you re-import it, usually not always work, but from time to time, it will also try to compress your virtual machine. So what you do is usually you compress one, you export it, and then when you are reimporting, it will try, try to reclaim some space. So these are the three basic commands. As you can see, it's just straightforward. I use this one, the one with uh, optimized BHD, I think is the fastest and easiest one, and you get the same results as the using this partition, either of the methods, and I think it's safer in this way. So okay. pretty much that was all, I hope, you know, that now you are able to compress your virtual machine. This is straightforward. And I always remind you that read your documentation because there is a lot of stuff going on here, and always it keeps updating so you have here how to manage so also here you have how to expand so if for whatever reason you reach one terabyte and you need more space then you can expand it so you have the instructions here and as usual well this one is important get familiar with your windows existing a configuration configuration file so you need to configure how to share your system It's important in my case that I have many resources. So what uh, the maximum memory I want to use so on. So take your time and configure your files. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.